G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So I'm down in the city with the most spectacular backdrop in the world, <laughs> I reckon anyway. So guys, I'm doing a bit of footage down here. I'll chuck it on my other channel, Out and About it's called. I'll put a link down in the description so you can check it out. I'm down here today, I want to check out that Christmas tree. So down at Martin Place, but I gotta tell you, I'm getting a little bit peckish. And I'm so parched, I really need to drink. I feel like I could drink a whole fountain. So guys, I've been down here for a few hours. Gonna grab some tucker soon. Cause like I said, I'm, I'm actually not peckish, I'm famished. I haven't eaten for hours. So guys, I don't know what I'm gonna get yet, but we'll come up with something. Uh, check out, check out in the link below. We'll show you a bit of footage. I've done a bit of filming here with the fairies and everything. I'll tell you what, I'm off with the fairies at the moment. But anyway, guys, not sure what we're getting yet, but grab something, come with. There you go. Just give it one, thanks. Thank you. Thanks mate, see you later. Well guys, desperate times calls for desperate measures and it really has been a hot minute since I've had a V. I've got to get this into me. I'm so dehydrated. <laughs> Actually when I grabbed this, I thought I should have grabbed the bloody ISO drink, isotonic. But anyway guys, we'll start off with a V. And now we need some food. Like I said, not sure what yet, but we'll come up with something. Actually, let's crack this sucker open and give it a little taste test. I can't wait. Hey, uh, bit hard to do with one hand. Nastravia. So, six bucks for that. It's a bloody big one though. 500 mils for value. It's a city. You know that, we'll give it a three, three and a half stars out of five. And for taste, actually reminds me of the mother, the plain one. So it has been a while since I've had this one, so I wouldn't know, I can't remember. Anyway guys, we'll give that for taste. Probably about a, again, three and a half stars out of five. But for refreshment, it's lit, I'm loving it. And now let's get on with the journey. And just like that, we end up in Chinatown. Can you believe it? Someone like me doesn't know what he wants to eat. Well, if all else fails and you're in the city, hit Chinatown. That's the place of pace. So let's see what we can get. Should get some dim sims. Seeing I got four dollars change, is that four for ten? Is it? Yeah. I'll get ten, thank you. Thank you. See you later. All right, let's try these little suckers out. Four, a ten for four bucks. That's how they look. Puff something or other. I what it's called. Pretty sure it's got custard in it. Oh yeah. It ain't bad. Let's try another one. That one burnt my laughing gear. They're a lot hotter than I thought they'd be, but I guess they're fresh out of wherever they cook them. <laughs> Winner. Guys, if you're ever in Chinatown, try those guys out. Custard puffs from Emperor or whatever it was called. Little hole in the wall. Make amazing. 
even though they're totally eat flour, they're not going to hit the spot because they're a sweet, they're a dessert, and I'd eat some food. I might go and grab some dim sims, you never know. Actually, that was close. Seagull nearly got run over by that guy. <laughs> Yeah, dude, there's another bike coming. Quick, get out of the way. Little bastard wants my <laughs> little bastard wants my pups. You want some, dude? Yeah. You gotta get up on the seat if you want it. <laughs> come on, come and get some. Come and get some. Yeah. It's a bit hot. So, a pretty decent little dessert. But I really do need something savoury. So guys, I'll probably give them probably about a four and three quarters out of four, stars out of five. Pretty decent. If ever you're in Chinatown, give them a crack. Just be careful you don't burn your gob because they're very hot. Nice warm custard inside. Even the seagulls McLove them. stuff. I'm starting to get a little bit full but I'm gonna go and search for some dim sims. Just hang in there. Amazing I didn't even notice there's a little place across here that sells dumplings. Maybe they got my dim sims who knows let's see let's go over and check them out. See what they got. Guys, sorry. Do you guys have dim sims? Yes, we do. Can I get um, how, how much are they? Uh, four different fillings: yeah. crab, beef, pork, and the prawn. And what was the last one? Prawn. Prawn. prawn pork. Okay. Um, how much are they? Six pieces, one serve, twelve dollars. I'll get the prawn one, thanks. Yeah, just one serve. Yes, thank you. Take away. Yeah. And we're back babies. Got another little Bevragino here. 245 mil. Don't know what it is, what it says, but apparently it's coconut, some coconut drink. Crack that open in a sec. So I've still got a man sized thirst. I'll tell you, even after that V, it's been a long hot one today. Now, guys, I haven't checked these out, but it's one of those times where we're gonna share this moment together. But I gotta tell you, it is really one of those times where size does matter. Hey. Six for 12 bucks, that's why size does matter. I don't look too bad so far. And they're not dim sims, <laughs> they're dumplings, but what the hell. Let's give them a crack. Now they had four different types. I went with the prawn. Fresh out of the steamer from across the road. Let's give them a crack, they are gonna be hot. He did ask me if I want chopsticks. Might have been a fatal mistake saying no. Oh yeah. Wow. They're phantasmagorical. They're the best bloody things I've ever had. And I've given some things five out of five. Some things like this. Wow. So guys, if you don't mind paying a bit for your dim sims or your dumplings or dumplings, Give those guys a crack. The prawn ones are phantasmagorical. Very juicy, very succulent. Totally good for it. I won't have any trouble scoffing the rest of them. Just let them cool down a bit first though. Let's crack open our little Bevragino, coconut water apparently. Probably a bit better than having a V. Well, I don't know how to open this one. It's like a bit of a tricky one. <clears throat> Only a very small hole. My favorite type, Chin Chin.
liked it. So that cost me $3.50. Dumplings, 12 bucks. Was that equal? Dumbass. 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 50. I guess it's a bit of a rod, but you know, like I always say when we're down here, we're in the city and everything's a bit of a rod. Except for those puff things, those custard puffs, they were a winner. They actually got, they should get five stars out of five for value. Yeah, you know, this drink, I was expecting it to be fizzy because you know I'm always drinking fizzy stuff. It was very surprising when I drank it and it was flat, but it is a good taste. It hits in a good way. $3.50, you know, it is what it is. Taste, beautiful. I'll give it four and a half stars out of five. Definitely got to wrap my laughing gear around another one of these. These are the goods. McLovin' them. I've got to give them an it's lit. I'm loving it. I'm giving them five stars out of five for taste. They are amazing. You can see the prawn in there. I don't know what's wrapped around it. But total winner, value, 12 bucks. We'll give it four stars out of five. It's it's okay. So guys, that's another great day down in the city. I'm going off now, it's starting to almost get dark. I've already filmed the Christmas tree, the big one in Martin Place. And then I'm gonna, I filmed it in the daytime, I'm gonna film it at the night. Do both, do both versions, day and night. So guys, remember, like I said, link will be down in the description. Check it out, check out the new channel. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Hooroo. <laughs> I better get going, everyone's looking at me. Stay fresh, it's a bit embarrassing.